Hey, what's shaking, everybody? Your boy BQ checking in. Just finished watching Impact. Let me, before I get to that, uh, we're pushing Instagram this month for the Impact Lounge brand. So if you can check the pinned comment of this video, like the Instagram page. We're trying to get to 800 right now. So uh, I need to do a little better with Instagram, but it is Instagram month here at the Lounge. So please go ahead and do that. Anyway, I just finished watching the uh, the tournament. So I finished watching Impact last night. Uh, if you haven't heard from my social media, I'm working 25 days straight, 27 shifts in 25 days. So, um, and then I'll be going on vacation. So um, it's a little difficult for me to watch wrestling right now. So I'm kind of having to watch it in segments. So I finished it last night and we got to the main event, which was Trey versus uh, Ace Austin. Now, this tournament here, um, I wanted to do a little bit better with not pointing out too many negative things here on the channel. Uh, Cause you know, obviously I was doing that for a while. I'm trying, trying to back off a little bit, but this tournament was so bad, not the wrestling, the wrestling was great. Even, even Fulton versus Hernandez was cool. The wrestling was fine. The presentation of this tournament was horrible. First you had a contest, which was only hardly even announced. Um, where you did a March Madness style bracket, you know, who's gonna who's gonna win the tournament? And then the winner gets a I think hundred dollars a shop impact, and then there was a fifty dollar da da da. So from the from the first time you released this bracket, there were three new competitors from the day you released the bracket to the end of the tournament. Why have a why have a contest? You know, you that's something you have control over. It's it's fake wrestling. It's not, you know, it's not a real event where hey things happen, you know, like March Madness. It's a professional wrestling scripted tournament. Why have a contest if you're going to change the participants in the middle of the tournament, including the winner and the two people in the last in the final match? So overall, I thought it was just pre presented really poorly. I had said that for the tournament, I just wanted them to focus on the tournament and not try to spin off a bunch of storylines from it. Because then you do that, you start devaluing what the tournament's about. And, you know, I'd already talked about the fact that they didn't really present anybody as really wanting to win and needing to win the tournament. You know, there wasn't video packages with the exception of Rohit and Michael Elgin cutting his promos every week. You know, no one acted like they needed to win the tournament. It just, you know... And had not had um, any NWA and AEW not just had really good tournaments on their end, maybe this wouldn't have stood out to me as like done so poorly. But I was really disappointed with it. Again, the matches were good, the wrestling was good. I had no nothing negative to say about that. But you know, you, you take Moose out of it, and then um, you replace him with Rohi Raju. And and the thing was, these the the matches were not even. You know, when you do a tournament, it's supposed to potentially pit the best two guys together in the final match. And that's not what this was, you know? So I didn't like the way that it was formatted to begin with. Um, Sammy Callahan is like 0-3 since changing his gimmick. I think someone said he won on Explosion or some shit like that. But um, Michael Elgin didn't make it to the finals, which people thought was gonna happen. And I would even say, I don't know that anyone got over in this tournament. You know, you could say, I guess Ace Austin had a good showing. You know, Josh tried to say that him beating Rhino was a uh, an upset. No, it wasn't. <laughs> it was not. Um, and then you have Trey taken out. So I, I didn't even feel that. I, I didn't even think Rohit Raji should have lost in the first round. Like, he needed that win. And um, uh, what was I going to get at? Oh, you get, you get Trey and Ace in the finals. And then someone takes out Trey. So the, the problem was they started spit, trying to spin off a bunch of storylines and a bunch of side feuds from this tournament. And, and that's what devalued it, in my opinion. Um, but someone takes out Trey. And we go through this whole tournament, which was all over the place. It was a total mess. And just to get to the final two competitors, and Wentz attacks Trey. 
takes his spot in the tournament. Deep didn't beat anybody to get there. And he's the only already a number one contender for the tag team title. So there's no reason for him to, uh, to be involved in this. Scott Nemore comes out. I was like, all right, you guys, let's do this. Now, I don't want to be too short-sighted. Obviously, there's some kind of like long-term plan here. But the presentation of the tournament with, with the information we've been given so far does not have me like excited for what's next. You know what I mean? It was all over the place. And then you got Moose telling Ace Austin will challenge me for my title. So it's like, what's going on with that? It was just really all over the place, in my opinion. And I just, I, I thought it was poorly done. You know, again, the presentation, not the wrestling. And there's probably more to it. I don't think Wentz was the person that attacked him because the announced team wouldn't have kept selling it. Or maybe it was Wentz. And then it ends up being Wentz. Like that, that's not the way wrestling works. So I want to know your thoughts in the comments, what you thought about the overall tournament. Um, I don't, I don't want to destroy it too much. Cause as I said, the, you know, the physical side of it was pretty good, but um, overall, I thought it was just so, so poorly presented. I thought there were situations where the wrong person won. And then you're, you're, you know, you're sw swapping guys out. Like it was already not a star heavy tournament because you're missing Ed, you know, Eddie and some of these guys who should, should have been there. It already wasn't, the names were already kind of a stretch and then you take three of them out. I mean, just let me know what you guys thought in the comments. Um, you know, maybe you liked it and that that's cool. We all, we all enjoy things differently. Maybe, maybe you liked it. Uh, from what I'm seeing on Twitter, a lot of people were kind of confused with it. So thanks for checking me out and I'm out. Peace.